Hi everyone and welcome to another Out and About video. Today, again, something completely different. And we're here, just on the outskirts or close by to Edenfield. And we're visiting the old Eden Wood Mill. And it's an abandoned mill that um, I think it was built around about 1801. Now, like I said, there's a lot of disrepair here. Um, a lot of danger signs, warning signs. So we do have to be careful where we go. Um, because like I said, it's a, it's a derelict building now and it's been like this, I think since 2001 perhaps, I think when it shut down. If there's any dates I've got wrong, I'll put them down below. Um, because like I said, I'm not entirely up on the history of this place. But um, we're gonna have a wander around and we're gonna get some video footage, take some photos while we're here. Uh, and we'll try and point out some uh, some interesting artifacts while we're here. So the old sets are still here, the old cobbles. As we make our way down, we're going to take a left, just at the end of here. Um, try and get some clear footage for you guys. But like I said, I think this mill was built around about 1801. And it was operational until around 2001. And I think it was some kind of dyeing mill. Like I said, I don't really know the full ins and outs of exactly, you know, what they did. Um, but like I said, I read somewhere it was something about a dyeing mill. Dyes. But we're going to make our way around to the to the left now here. And if you hear a lot of background noise. The A56 bypass is just behind us and you can actually see the ruins of Edenwood Mill from the roundabout which is just in that direction and as you go over the top you'll see the, the roofs and the sides of the building and you can get a clearer picture just how decayed and obviously how derelict this place is but like I said it's, it's not one of the safest mills to come into so we're not actually going to go inside it we're going to get more external shots. Give us make out here now. See the old chimney still at the top. So we can see now, I mean they've been up for many years but they've obviously tried to keep people out. The roof's all come down, you can see it there. And obviously there's your signs, danger keep out. But yeah, they have tried at some point in its past to, to keep people out from trespassing. And rightly so to be honest, because like I said, from looks of it, it is extremely dangerous. I mean, look at that. You can just make out through the fence how all the roof has all come down. This is even worse guys. I mean look at this here. There's absolutely nothing left. Now I do have a download of some official documents or documentation at home. Um, and basically some development agency has bought all this as well as all this land in front of us with a view to developing it and putting houses up. The only problem they've got is, from what I've read, it's bad for water. Um, as you can see, there's a hill line behind us. So you're gonna get a lot of water coming down the hill and it's difficult really to see how they're gonna prevent that from happening. Um, but yeah, um, I'll put the details, to, or the link up, I should say, for you guys to download if you wanna know more about the history of this place and what the future development plans are. But from all accounts, they are trying to build houses here at Edenwood Mill. Obviously all this will be gone in the next five, 10 years. Everything that you see here, all this will be completely gone and redeveloped. And this is why we're doing this video today. Uh, we're coming out because we're gonna try and record as many of the old buildings and the old structures from our Victorian past before they are well and truly uh, 
been demolished, you know, and they, they've, they've long since uh, gone, and we will never ever be able to have this opportunity ever again to record and document these structures. But wow, what a big place this is, it's massive. You can see the full scale of it, the extent of it. And like I said, there's no roof at all. And, uh, and we're not going to try and get inside it, like I said, because it, it is just too dangerous. But yeah, the scale of the place, unbelievable. See what's in this old this old building here. Looks a bit dark, a bit ominous. Well this ain't creepy. This is nice and cool in here. I wonder what this, uh, what this was used for. Well, this is just the opposite side of this small river that's uh, flowing past the mill. If you come from the direction of Ramsbottom and Bury along the main road this way you've got the pub is it the Duke of Wellington or the Duckworth Arms I always forget the name but there's a pub just opposite but if you turn left there and then park up just where these cars are going now obviously you get a better view of the old mill the structure of it um, because like I say if you go around the roundabout it takes you back onto the A56 towards Haslandon and Rottenstall if you carry on off the roundabout to the left it brings you into Stubbins the little village of Stubbins where obviously this this mill situated obviously because we're here but uh yeah going back to the redevelopment there's going to be well i, I wouldn't even like to take a guess now but there's going to be a hell of a lot of houses that are somehow going to be or hopefully going to be built on here and when i say hopefully i don't mean hopefully for my benefit but if they can do something obviously with this only because it is in such a, a state of disrepair. There's no, obviously, there's no going back with this building. This, there's no way this is going to be uh, recovered. So, just as a matter of safety, I mean, this is one time where I do agree this has to be pulled down at some point. And it is a shame because it's, like I said, it dates back to, especially that side of the building, it dates back to the 1801, as far as I'm aware. Um, so yeah for safety issues i do agree that this now has to come down at some point so if they can do something nice for this area as much as it pains me to say then personally i do agree with this one the thing i disagree with is why it's been left to end up looking like this i mean in 2001 when i think the doors finally shut and obviously it's in this situation nobody's ever coming in and redeveloped it or taken it on um, and that's the thing that bugs me, that's the bugbear of mine, these old mills and it's like I say, especially that side of the mill, this looks more modern, like an extension of the old one but um, that's the bugbear of mine, why it's been left to end up in such a state
thing I like about coming to a place like this, and granted it's few and far between, but it's putting yourselves in the shoes of the old mill workers. You know, like we're talking, what, 1801, 19, uh, sorry, 2022, 200 years old. But when this mill was first built and the doors opened for the first time, you know, people walking up and down these old cobbles here to and from where they lived to come to work. You can feel the history, you know, it's still peeking through below our feet. And again, I've said it in many videos, when you visit places such as this and just look down, don't look up, don't look up. I'm gonna say don't look up, but, but don't look up. Always look down because you are walking potentially in history or ancestors. For all I know, I could have had great, great, great grandparents who perhaps worked here or visited here, maybe traveled past here at some point. And it's just amazing to think that even though this building is not going to be here for much longer from the looks of it, we are walking in history. So always, always look down wherever you go and you just never know what you're going to see. Now this looks like a, an interesting feature. You've still got your old gate post with the, obviously the, the iron attachment. But look at the pathway, you can just about make it out. You've got your wall on this side, bit of a pathway, and what I presume would have been a wall on that side. Obviously this has been built at some point, but uh, again, you can just imagine old carts being taken up there down here, people walking to and from here to get to the old mill. But yeah, you can see where perhaps the other side of the gatepost may have been, just with the, the split there. But again, these are little features people probably walk past, maybe on a daily basis, and they never spot this. And yet it's here, this doesn't mean it is here, you just need to look. Wow, some of the things I do to try and get what I can feel is the perfect shot for you guys. But wow, this is some, uh, this is some big derelict premises. It really is. Now, like I say, I could quite easily get over this wall, but uh, I'm not going to do because, like I say, it's just too dangerous. But look at this. So there is ways into it, but I'm not going to do that for you guys. I'm not that uh, that brave. Um, like I said, I just don't know about the wooden flooring. Don't know about the roof itself, because you've seen some footage by now where it's all come down. But we're all going to have a look behind here, because this has just caught me attention. There's another one of these little buildings. That's a little bit creepy, is that? So I think we'll leave that. But yeah, this is uh, this is Eden Wood Mill. I also think it's called Rosebank Mill uh, because there is a road to get into here called Rosebank, and I'm sure I read that this area is, or the mill was called, or also known as Rosebank. Right, we need to make our way back through. I'll show you guys what I've got to contend with, so you know I'm not joking when I say some of the things I go through uh, to get the perfect shots, but I've got to get back through here without being stung again. So here we go. Straight away, this ain't looking good. Yeah, this is a place. This is a place I've wanted to uh, to visit for. I'll be honest with you, for many a year. But for whatever reasoning, I honestly can't say why I've never come down until today. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video of what or what there is of it. 
because like I said it's only a short one and I could well have got him further back but it's just not worth the risk um, considering the decay but yeah that is what we've just walked through and I'm not gonna lie but I've been stung a couple of times right let's make our way out and we'll tie up or close up this video for you um, but I do hope you've enjoyed it it's been different I am struggling here without stinging myself get all of these thank you bloody hell this is just crazy <laughs> here we go I think we're pretty much out of it right we're out out the old mechanisms on the door again I'm not saying this is over 200 years old but it's definitely old your paint peeling on the doors you've got your again your cast iron wheels so still a lot of history I mean a bit of dare say people's tried to get in that way but um, it's just not worth the risk it really isn't but imagine back in the day when this was fully operational 1801 and then you obviously had people walking up and down this old cobbled pathway and also imagine that being opened to transport goods I will presume up and down I think it's a bit too probably a bit too tall for a window but yeah imagine goods being dropped down or lifted up and placed inside for it to be worked on. All this history, as I keep saying on our doorsteps, just get out and check it out for yourselves. So that's all from today's video. Like I said, it's only a short one. Um, I weren't going to go inside, as you know, because obviously it was a bit, it's just a bit too dangerous. The roofs obviously had come down, the floor looked like it was about to give way. But if you did enjoy this video, please comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on the redevelopment of places such as this. Um, it's a shame, like I said, that it's been left to this kind of state of decay, if you will. Obviously more could have been done to look after it when the doors closed for the final time back, I think it was 2001. But yeah, comment down below, tell me what your thoughts are. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's more content coming regularly, hopefully more places like this. Um, give us a like as well because the more people that like these videos I think the more they get shared on YouTube I don't really know the algorithm properly uh, and in the meantime guys as I always say take care look after yourselves and I will be back soon with either a video from places like this or with more stories from our dark but disturbing past